In the next couple of videos, I'll describe one of the famous puzzles from special relativity, known as the barn and pole paradox. In this video, I'll describe the paradox, and then we'll analyze and resolve the paradox using a two-observer space-time diagram in the next video. So here's the situation. Beowulf has a pole that's 10 meters long, and maybe it's a pole from pole vaulting, or maybe it's a stick that he just likes to run with. And 10 meters maybe is a little long for a pole vault, but 10's a nice number, so we're just going to go with it. It could be 10 nanoseconds in SR units if we wanted. Okay, so Beowulf is going to run with his stick really, really fast at um, three-fifths the speed of light, and Anastasia is going to remain at rest. So let's think about things from Anastasia's point of view. So Anastasia sees Beowulf zipping along, and um, when beta is three-fifths, the length contraction factor is four-fifths, and I'll show this on a piece of paper in the next video. And so what that means is that Anastasia sees Beowulf running with an eight-meter stick and not a ten-meter stick because of length contraction, right? The length is contracted. Now, Anastasia happens to be standing next to a barn. This is a barn, and you can tell because it says barn. And so, um, so this barn also is eight meters wide. How convenient. So Beowulf runs through the barn, like there's a door here and a door there, a big door. And so Beowulf is running through with his eight meter um, stick, and there's an instant in time in which the stick is completely enclosed by the barn. And then Beowulf zips out the other side, and off he goes, running at three-fifths the speed of light with his stick. And Anastasia, in the at-rest frame, observes all of this. And so again, she says there's a moment in time in which, the, um, in which Beowulf's stick is completely enclosed by the barn. So that's the story from the point of view of Anastasia, at rest, watching Beowulf zip by. Let's analyze the same situation from Beowulf's point of view. So in Beowulf's point of view, I mean, we see him as moving, but Beowulf, um, the, the stick, is at rest with respect to Beowulf. So he doesn't see the stick length contracted. For Beowulf, the stick is its rest length, 10 meters. So he, um, Beowulf, zips by the barn, or in Beowulf's point of view, he would actually see the barn zip by him. And so what Beowulf sees, he sees the barn as being contracted. So the barn that had a rest length of 8 meters is contracted to a length of 6.4. And I'll show the numbers for this in a subsequent video. So the barn isn't 8, it's actually shorter, it's 6.4. And so Beowulf, um, let's see, so Beowulf is zipping this way, in Beowulf's frame, the barn comes like this, and there's never an instant in time when the pole is entirely in the barn. How could it be? Because the pole has a length of 10, and the barn is only 6.4 meters wide. So it's impossible for the pole to ever be entirely in the barn. On the other hand, Anastasia says, what do you mean? I just saw the pole entirely enclosed by the, by the um, barn. So that's the paradox. How can these two very different views of the same physical reality, the same thing, um, how can they be reconciled? So we'll explore that in the next video using um, a two-observer diagram.